Dr. Ami, tell us more about the message of hope, which I think is the greatest thing I've ever heard, the message of hope, which you incorporate in your practice, helping people overcome their food addictions. Yeah, yeah, and, and changing behavior. So, um, so this all started, so I, my doctorate was, um, I was very interested in how some people with physical health conditions do really well. So you might have a person who's got exactly the same, let's say, on a scan, exactly the same amount of arthritis, let's say, and there's two people who look on a scan completely similar physically, and they, you know, they have all these sort of um, things in common. But one person will do really, really well and have a good quality of life. And they'll, you know, they'll feel p positive emotionally and they do the things that they enjoy and they have positive social relationships. The other person, you know, feels a lot of pain, um, has to take a lot of medication, is sort of withdrawing from activities, their mood is low. Really, there can be a big difference in how people psychologically uh, adjust even even when physically it looks like they've got the same amount of <laughs> yeah so actually my PhD was actually done with people who were having lower limb amputations so they were all having the same procedure done and there was going to be the same amount of kind of physical um, disability if you like but I was looking at who who coped well uh, rehabilitated well and and had a good quality of life you know further down the line and and those who struggled and and hope was this big factor that <laughs> made such a difference and so uh for me it was working out right okay so what understanding what this hope thing is and then how do you as a clinician how do we help people to become more hopeful because obviously that's going to be some magic dust so um, and I think this is something that um, people sort of intuitively understand and they believe, but it's not many doctors, no doctors would have training in this or know how to incorporate that in their consultations. So that's what I was trying to work out was what, how could I help David, who's a GP, sprinkle some of this hope magic into his consultations? so that he wasn't just giving people the right advice which was around reducing carbohydrates if you if your body can't cope with carbohydrate <laughs> the the good advice is to reduce it but how can you that's really simple isn't it but it's not easy it's not easy for people to change their behavior so how and some people will like you so i'm guessing you're quite a high hope person you're probably a person who likes to set yourself goals likes to be organized I'm only guessing um you know we'll we'll sort of set a top say I'm going to do you know this is my next step I'm going to do that all because you know I want this better future that I can see if I do those things so that's the sort of definition of a hopeful person someone who sort of has a sense that there's something that they will be better in the future they're reaching for that they they can sort of see the steps to get there if you like and not only could they see the steps but they also have the motivation to take the steps and then and then review and see how that goes and then take the next step mm -hmm.